Well, it is country music's biggest night. That's right. The CMA Awards are on tonight on ABC7 Prime Time right here. Uh, so who's going to come away the big winners tonight? Tommy McFly is here with us to make some predictions for the three biggest awards given out tonight. And you've already told us you're going to try to start some mess here. I am. And I went <laughs> full John Matter with this thing. So I talked to a psychic. I polled the audience on Facebook and Twitter. I okay. called country stations. I talked to people in Nashville and L.A. and New York. And I have my kind of provocative but they are picks. Okay. okay, let's hear it. So you've got Tim McGraw and uh, Keith Urban and also Taylor Swift had a song together, which seems like it was made in a laboratory to win awards. And Is that good or bad? That's a favorite. That's, you know, it's, it's a breakup song and the video's got a weird twist at the end, but I've got to say my pick for single of the year uh -huh. is Casey Musgraves, Merry Go Round. Okay. Because she is a little provocative, a little different than, you know, the average country singer, and she definitely is kind of a new sound of country music. And as country goes to be more of a mainstream kind of thing, uh -huh. I think she's a little bit more edgy than the average the average country. And of course, you've got, you know, Darius Rucker, who was Hootie from Hootie and the Blowfish. Mm -hmm. and you've got Miranda Lambert in there, too. But I really think Casey Musgraves is going to grab it. All right, we'll see what happens with that one. Moving on, Album of the Year is the next big one that's mm -hmm. going to be handed out. You know, they've got a lot of great contenders there. Casey Musgraves, again, is nominated a little Big Town, which is just four lead singers, and they sound incredible with their harmonies. Blake Shelton also is in there. Psychic Sherry Sherry says that she thinks. Carrie Underwood's gonna win, knows nothing about country music, but I've gotta go with my gut and say, Taylor Swift. What's your, which, wait a minute, what's your psychic gut against Casey? She, obviously, she doesn't like Casey. I know, she doesn't like Casey. <laughs> she, you know, she didn't get the vibe from Casey. <laughs> I'm getting the Taylor vibe, she got the Carrie vibe, okay. so we'll see tomorrow on the show who, who actually had the winning, the winning pick on the CMAs. And then moving on, the big one of the year, which everyone's always wondering about, is Entertainer of the Year. Mm -hmm. And it depends on how you want to judge it. You know, you've got George Strait, King George, who's had over 50 number one uh, uh, hits it's in his day. Been around so long. Been around so forever. So many classic songs. And so people think he's going to get it because he's doing his quote unquote final tour right now. He's a sentimental favorite. Right. Although mm -hmm. the Eagles and Cher have done, what, 15 or 16 final tours? Yeah. So <laughs> we're not really sure about that. Jason Aldean and Luke Bryan are the newer guys. Taylor Swift in there too, but my pick is yeah. Blake Shelton. I think he was the biggest ambassador for country throughout the year. He's everywhere right now. Mm -hmm. Really popular guy. Okay. All right, good deal. So uh, you talked to the uh, psychics. What did uh, Dion Warburg have to say about the skins this week? Uh, <laughs> she said, I, I didn't get Dion. She oh, you didn't put get me Dion. on hold. I had, to, you know, I had to pay extra for <laughs> that minute. Was, yeah, that was so. 50 cents more minute. Yeah, I called <laughs> Sherry, Sherry, but she says it's good for the skins this weekend. <laughs> well, we'll see how, how you did with this. We appreciate it. It's good Thanks, to see guys. you, Tommy. Right. Tell Sherry too. we said hi. Oh, Although well. she probably knows that already. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. If she's, if she's good, she does. All right, we'll see if Tommy's predictions come true tonight on the 47th Annual CMA Awards, hosted, of course, by Brad Paisley and Carrie Underwood again. Uh, the music and awards get underway at 8, followed by ABC 7 News at 11 o'clock. All right, good. Thanks, Tommy.